Myra has two jobs. She gets paid $13.50 per hour for tutoring at City College and $9.75 per hour at a coffee shop. We had an expression for her weekly pay if we let x equal the number of hours worked tutoring and y equal the number of hours worked at the coffee shop. The amount of pay earned from tutoring is $13.50 times x, or as an expression, just 13.5x, and then plus the pay earned at the coffee shop would be $9.75 times y, or just 9.75y. It's common to leave the units off when writing an algebraic expression. Next, last week she tutored for nine hours and worked at the coffee shop for 14 hours. How much did she earn? Because she tutored for nine hours, we know x equals nine, and because she worked at the coffee shop for 14 hours, we know y is equal to 14. To find her weekly pay, we substitute these values for x and y into the expression and evaluate the expression. This would give us 13.5 times nine plus 9.75 times 14. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. And notice how this gives us $258. So now we know Myra earned $258. For the third part, if she worked all 23 hours as a tutor, instead of working both jobs, how much would she have earned? Well, if she tutored for 23 hours, we now know x equals 23, and did not work at the coffee shop, and therefore y is equal to zero. This would give us 13.5 times 23. We could stop here because y is zero, but let's go ahead and show the substitution plus 9.75 times zero. Going back to the calculator, since 9.75 times zero is zero, we can just enter 13.5 times 23, which gives us $310.50. Myra would have earned $310.50. if she tutored all 23 hours. I hope you found this helpful.